Before I was doing dancing, I was doing a lot of martial arts, a lot of judo, I did rock climbing, I did a lot of different physical activities and I think that kind of brought me into dance and I think dance gave me a way to kind of express everything that I had kind of learned. In a more philosophical way, I feel like dance has kind of embodied all the parts of my life. I definitely feel like my practice is influenced by judo because it's something that I've done for over 10 years and the principles of it, the discipline, the flow in it, I guess the arts in the, the martial is really exciting for me to bring that into contemporary dance. I went to Europe and I was there to audition and land a job and that was going to be it. And I ended up going to the auditions, getting a lot of no's and that kind of bummed me out for a bit. And I had a couple of days to myself. I decided to go to this car park. I just started dancing and I just danced for like hours. I had this really amazing revelation that dancing was a lot bigger. It's something that's really like personal and it's something that is existing inside you that you can tap into at any point no matter where you are or what you're doing. When I was delivered the brief, I was actually really relieved and really excited. I felt like it was something that was connected to things that I want to pursue and things that I want to unravel in my life, but also my art as well. What does perfection actually mean and does it exist and questioning those things. And I came to conclusions that there's an impossibility around perfection, that it doesn't actually exist. It's more of a paradox. On one hand, I don't think it's actually possible to live, you know, this perfect or be perfect. But sometimes like the ugly or the grotesque or the visceral or the guttural is something that is really beautiful and almost perfect. It's like almost a classical kind of arm, but it can go in any direction or it can really warp out and twist and be really gross and disgusting, but it's still got the quality of that beautiful gesture to it. I'm really interested in the body. Choosing to work with nudity was about stripping away those external things that we put onto ourselves and to show the body or a person in, in a vulnerable state because I feel like I want to show that vulnerability is beautiful and that being vulnerable maybe is cl very close to being perfect. For me, what's interesting is like the humanness and the human reactions to things. It's a bit of a, just like a natural kind of organic process of just like allowing ideas to kind of like, just come up without judging them first. And then once you try things out, and you experiment and you, you fail or you succeed a little bit, then, then you can start crafting. You're sifting away, trying to find like that golden moment or that, that, that perfect moment that really moves you. Or it is important to enjoy that process because like you know that you're never gonna reach this perfect ultimate work or perfect kind of state, but pursuing it is almost like that's what's perfect. Normally my performances feature nudity, but I have chosen to use costume to strip away identity and question masculinity and also femininity to bring the work back to this yin and yang ideal. 